fireworks shows in some big cities and Connecticut budget cuts could mean the show doesn't go on. Meriden already has canceled their event. News 8's Waterbury Bureau reporter LaSalle Blanks tells us why. Hubbard Park in Meriden all decked out for the 4th of July, but this year something big will be missing, fireworks. And for families who've been coming here for years, that news hit them like a dud. I'm disappointed as a community member. You want to have something to look forward to and to gather and bring your kids, and it's sad that they're not going to do it this year. The fireworks normally go off right here over the water, creating memories that can last a lifetime. I was born on the 1st of July, and my dad told me the fireworks in town were for me, for my birthday, and I was pretty old before I stopped believing that. But thanks to a lack of green, celebrating the red, white, and blue won't be the same this year. Basically last year, our city council voted um, not to fund the fireworks uh, celebration. And we had a, uh, a local business step up and provide the money to do that. This year, the business was not able to do that. So hence, there is no funding for the fireworks display. Chris Borden with Parks and Rec says a fireworks show like this for the 4th could cost the city. You're looking at $20,000 for the fireworks show itself and another $5,000 for entertainment. And for cash-strapped cities like Meriden, that money could be used for essential city services. Teachers, uh, uh, police cruisers, I mean, you name it. Residents we talk to say they understand, given how hard things are right now, but they wish this great American tradition could be saved. And I know it's a lot of money to raise fireworks, and I know that the state budget's bad and the towns are feeling the pinch, but it really has been something special for families over the years. Last year, private businesses stepped in to help Meriden, but it looks like the skies will stay clear this year unless Meriden gets a last-second blast. Of cash. It's a tough decision to make. Uh, certainly, it's not the city being unpatriotic. In Meriden, LaSalle Blanks, News 8.